aftermarket electrical components spliced into the device driver circuits on the car have caused me a lot of trouble. I had actually had to go through the entire car and go through every connector and wire, sort out problems and it really doesn't make any difference whether it's it's short to ground or short to voltage whether something was grounded onto a, a device driver circuit or spliced into a, a voltage side of a transistor driver circuit this car doesn't respond very well to voltage spikes or voltage draws the electronic control module just isn't geared for that but anyway the bolt that holds the solenoid right onto the to the uh, wheel well panel is a 10 millimeter I just use one of these drivers here not drivers here just put it back in there like that this is the uh, evap solenoid for the evap system which is mounted right right there beside the canister there's the harness connector for it right there resistance on this solenoid sh needs to be needs to be 20 ohms or more uh, what the factory service manual recommends if if this e if this solenoid is faulty or malfunctions it's better to replace the solenoid and the electronic control module at the same time because mainly because this solenoid is is operated by a transistor driver inside the electronic control module and it's on a set of it's on a quad driver so the electronic control module is operating uh, in a quad driver at least up to four solenoids on the car all the solenoids on this car are operated by the electronic control module so if this one burned out a transistor more than likely um, the transistor that operates other solenoids have been damaged also so but before you replace the electronic control module test all the solenoids on the car all the solenoids on the car with the exception of the the two fuel injector solenoids should be 20 ohms or more the fuel injectors would be 1.4 ohms or more but uh, the problem is if you if you leave the solenoid on the car and you replace the electronic control module the electronic control module would probably still work the solenoid but it wouldn't be long before the solenoid burned out your new electronic control module I think that's why they're recommending just replace the, the electronic control module along with the solenoid to test the resistance on the solenoid is really easy you just set the multimeter to ohms and you just put one test lead to one terminal on the solenoid and one test lead to the other to see what the resistance is across across the terminals it should be 20 ohms or more this one is testing out the 34 ohms and if you turn the key to the key to the ignition to the on position not with not the engine running you should have battery voltage that's the uh, that's the evap solenoid connector right there you, if you just unplug it and turn your volt your volt on voltmeter to DC volts you should have you should have battery voltage uh, you should have battery voltage at your at your connector there yeah this is a little you're going to have some resistance in the wires I've been working on the car with the doors open the interior lights on and some other things I've been doing so my battery voltage is down a hair I got 12.03 volts at the battery and 11.89 of that so I'm getting voltage over there that that's the, that's the key is you you have voltage at that circuit but again uh, uh, any solenoid on the car is operated by the electronic control module 
and if the resistance in the solenoid isn't at least what to spec, it'll burn out one of the drivers on the. But you can just set your. These are the fuel injectors. You can just set the. Set the multimeter to ohms. Give it a second to calm down. The fuel injector should be 1.4 ohms or more. This is 1.5, 1.6.